myself. Oh, namaste and good morning, everybody. Um, while Saranji is away, I'm taking the in charge of the Zoom and I'm taking the class tomorrow, uh, today and then tomorrow, uh, Liluji is going to take it. So I hope you enjoy the session. So I welcome you all to uh, Yoga with Sam. So today I'm going to start with, um, we do OM and then we do Bastika and then we'll do some nitric oxide then jogging, jogging, um, and then we do some hand exercise and then leg exercise and some back exercise. Hopefully we can get, and then we can do that rest. You can do whatever you can. So first of all, we're just going to sit in a Jan Mudra. I have already, uh, Mohan, I already done my Diva is over there. I always do it every day. So I already done that. So we sit in the Gain Mudra, back straight, we just do Bastika for 30 seconds. Okay. Two and a half seconds to breathe in and two and a half seconds to breathe out. And relax. We're going to chant Om three times. So Om, we <coughs> we chant Om eighty percent and twenty mm, percent. So Om is is a, a group of sounds uh, that carry vibration and universal energy. So we chant Om. So we take a deep breath. Uh, Go eye close, we have our hands, think it out. Put all your eyes, cup it all your eyes, and then slowly, slowly open your eyes. And then all this warm <coughs> energy, just spread it round all over your face, over your eyebrows. With your head and then back up your ears, your neck, the throat, and then rest of the body. We can chant Om uh, three times or four times as, as long <coughs> you know you want. You can do it longer as well. Um, the benefits of um, um, Om is that it wakes up your chakra. And it's also calms your mind, mind and it's, it makes you fit for the prayer. And also um, it it's activates your vagus nerves. The vagus nerves is the biggest nerves in our body. It's, a, it's attached to your vocal cord and the back of your neck muscle. So I'll just show you where it is. That's the vagus nerves. It's the biggest nerves. And then it is all branches off. You can see all the veins and the branches of all your organs. So it's is working stimulously. So if any of your um, nerve is damaged, you get pain and sometimes you get, the doctor said, oh, you got to trap now. So it's one of those nerves that will happen. So, so OM is, is very, very uh, beneficial to a lot of people uh, if you do that. And um, Servanji has sent a lot of benefits of OM. So um, the Chanty Om creates the vibrations which stimulates metabolism 
and it leads to also uh, weight loss. Uh, it also relaxes your mind and body, regulates your blood pressure and blood circulation, and improves your heart health. And because it creates the vibration in the throat, which improves your thyroid glands, and it's also a spiritual way to overcome the anxiety and depressions and also removes toxins from the body. And this is, this is also proven and improve digestions and also help get rid of the dryness and gives refreshment. And it's, again, it's relax your mind, body that gives sound, um, sound sleep. So we have to try it because it is, you know, when you get stressed out or go before you go to bed, you do all, it will relax you. Now, prana, prana means is a life of energy. The life of energy, we get it from food and water. So about 20%, 80 to 20% from food and water. And more about and 50, over 50% you get from air and the rest you get from sun and uh, nature. So because the weather is nice nowadays, so it, it's nice to go out and get some <clears throat> more energy and, and fresh air. And uh, yama, so pranayam, so I've just um, separated prana means energy and yama, pranayam means uh, you, you're controlling yourself. So you're breathing in and you're breathing out. So it's, this is called pranayam. So hope, you know, <clears throat> that will help people understand what the pranayam is. So next I'm um, just going to do uh, nitric oxide. So um, I'll just go through nitric oxide again today because um, like, like Dr. Kapoor said yesterday, it's very beneficial for the people who have high blood pressure as well as it's very important for the lungs. So what, what, is, what is nitric oxide? So nitric oxide is a colorless gas. Um, it, they, are, they are tiny molecules. They're like bubbles. When you're blowing the bubbles, they, they bust it. They, so they don't last very long. So you need to make plenty of them. So when it does that, it open up your blood vessels and uh, of uh, muscles of the blood vessels, yeah, and then it dilates it. So when you when you when you your blood vessel like arteries and veins are a bit narrow, so when you get nit more nitric oxide, it's open up. So when it does that, the blood flows very easily. It doesn't stick, and then if you've got a high blood pressure, it will lower your blood pressure. Otherwise, it will maintain your blood pressure normal all the time. So it, it's 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 very good. Um, for the, for the uh, we call it as a vasodilator, so you dilate the blood vessels, um, and it also makes, like I say, blood uh, make less sticky, flow easily, uh, maintain your good um, uh, blood pressure and uh, good good circulation around the body. And secondly, it um, it get rid of the carbon dioxide because uh, you need to open up your lungs first. To, in, in order to get your oxygen so that if you if you've got a very very stiff lungs no matter how much oxygen doctor is giving you it will not uh, um, improve your oxygen level it will drop below you know you should, our normal saturation is 95 to 99 percent or 100 or 98 to 100 and uh, if your lungs are very stiff and if you got infection it will not expand and you, you no matter how much oxygen you get, your, your saturation level, your oxygen level will drop below 70%. So you need to open up your lungs so the oxygen gear in and your carbon dioxide, you need to come out or other toxins. So when that happens, then you get a good uh, blood circulation. So you get a pure oxygen, a pure blood as well. So going around the body. So the two things is main thing to so open up your lungs and then it dilates the blood vessels. So it's very, very important that we do that. So how, how, how it helps to keep us healthy. So because it's, it's a gas, inflammatory gas, so it kills the bacteria and viruses and also is helped with the COVID-19 at the moment. There are a lot of research going on, but it does help. So it, it open up your blood vessel 50%, increase the blood flow, oxygen level, and it gives you the energy as well. Um, and it's, yeah, I'll tell you about the, uh, maintaining the normal blood pressure. And also improves the brain function because you're getting a pure oxygen going into your brain. Uh, and then it also helps to, if you got uh, any nasal, like call it, you call it like a little, little bumps in your nostril. And if you got any sinus problem, this is also help. Nitric oxide will help because when we are breathing in, we're taking nitric uh, oxide, but we need to 
produce more and then that will cure <coughs> your sinuses. Any lung disease is good for your lung, any lung disease, nitric oxide. Also, it's been used for the throat uh, cancer patients um, in order to produce more um, oxygen and uh, more new cells in the oxygen as well. And it's also good for allergy and uh, any, any nasal allergies that you have that will help to clear it all. So as we get um, as we get older, it becomes less. So we need to produce more because sometimes we have a lot of nasal blockage in there. So we need to make millions and millions. You don't have, you know, it's not a small amount, and we cannot give it through through the uh, through the mask. It has to be uh, put it down. The tube has to go down the throat, and then the doctor will give it oxygen. If you are very very sick, you are in the hospital. That's how it's done. You have to have a tube around your throat, and it mix with the oxygen and then it will go down in your, on your system. So how do we produce naturally? So we, we take it in food with the green leafy vegetables, containing nitrates, um, like celery, beetroot, broccoli, dark chocolate, and then you mix it with saliva, you chew your food properly, mix with saliva, it goes down into your stomach and mix with the juice, and that will go, <clears throat> go down into your circulation, blood circulation, and you produce nitric oxide. So uh, uh, avoid mouthwashes because it will kill the bacteria um, uh, that you have it on your in your tongue. So it will it will um, no the bacteria that uh, <coughs> bacteria will kill the nitric oxide. So do not do that chemical mouthwash. And if you've got a high sodium level or high blood pressure, do not use salt um, gargles. Do um, use lemon or oil or any other gargles you can. And um, yeah, so that's that's where, and then so what we what we're going to do we're going to do humming. So humming will help to clear um, open up your nasal passage and produce more nitric oxide. And it is about you know about 50, thirty to fifty percent. And always breathe through your nose because when you breathe through your nose, you got a lot of hairs in your nose that will filter your air. And when it goes into it in your mucus, it will mix in the mucus. And you got you know it will moisten it, and you get. Uh, uh, humidify um, air going into your lungs so your lungs doesn't get dry up, doesn't get damaged. So you've got to make sure that you breathe through your nose. And if you sometimes, you know, a lot of people, um, they don't, uh, they have a problem going to uh, breathing through the nose, they have to breathe through the mouth. But um, that will, it's a medical condition. So the doctor will have to pres prescribe some medication to prevent lung infection. So always breathe through your nostrils. So we're going to do some humming and we do some blow up, uh, blow out exercise. So when you do the blow out exercise, it will feed your muscles and it helps to circulate the nitric oxide throughout the body. So we do humming by, <coughs> um, or with the palm over your um, hand and over your ears and then you bite your teeth and then you well, pull the uh, tongue against your teeth and you do hum, take a deep breath and hum, humming for five times. Mm. Mm. Last time. Mm. And relax. When you're ready, we'll stand up and do some <coughs> blowout exercise. See if I can. Okay. So 
have to get my camera right today for some reason. That has to be a little bit better. <coughs> so when you're ready, we're going to do four steps. So don't forget to breathe in and out. Is a star jump. And relax. Next, lift up. Relax, take a deep breath, so scoop up, and then blow out, again. We do one more time, and we jog and jog. We start again. Next is the star jump. And we last take a deep breath and go out. So, <coughs> next, I'm going to do jogging, jogging. So, health and safety warning always take a medical advice before you do a yoga session or any physical exercise. The doctor have your history, medical history, and he is the best person to advise you what exercise you can do, what you can't do it. You can, if you want to learn how to do your exercise, you always ask your doctor to go to, uh, to have a physiotherapy. Um, and he refer you to physiotherapy and he will, they will show you how to do the exercise properly. So always seek medical advice. We cannot see you. You're doing everything on your own risk. So be careful whatever you do. Look after yourself, 
do it slowly, the card will pass, and then if you can't do that, because we have already shown you five times, 10 times, whatever, but you do whatever you can. So <clears throat> don't forget to breathe in and out as you do it. And then don't bend forward if you go to back pain, and don't go backwards if you got hernia. Go on. And relax, hand on there. How did you feel of this? You do whichever is suitable for you, or whatever you can do. No pressure. And then you do opposite leg, and opposite elbow. And then clap. Uh, next, either you put it on a little bit apart, and then we do the sitting, or you can do it with your hands in the front. And relax, and then we do the next one is the knee, so we do five times. If you get a lot of pain in your knees, don't do it. So just do whatever you can. So one, two, three, four, five. Reverse, five, four, three, two, and one. Leg apart, take it in. So we do clockwise, one, two, three, four, and five. Reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. You can do this sitting down as well, people sitting on a chair. So, and then legs apart, hand in the front, you breathe in, and then right leg, hold it for a few seconds, and breathe out and go other side. And you just carry on as long as you can do it. Nine, ten, and relax. Bring, bring a little bit in, then turn around, hand on your knee, and then have the leg straight. You breathe in, and you look up, hold it for a second if you can. Breathe out, go on the other side. Get two of these. Next, hand on your waistline. You can do more in your own time. Next, we interlock your finger, index finger up. And do that. Breathe in, hold, breathe out. Other side. And relax. You want to expand the lungs. So be careful again. Don't bend backwards if you go hernia. So as you go up, you breathe. Breathe in. And the arms out. Expand your chest and breathe out as you come down. And relax. Next, we're going to stretch our side muscles. So hands up, legs a little bit apart. And then I take the hand against your ear. Then you come down and go as far as you can. Hold a few seconds and breathe out. Come on, the other side. Relax. 
you can't do it, you can always stay up your hand up like this. And relax. Next, you're going to touch the opposite toes. Again, you can go as far as you can. Don't have to go right down. And if you feel dizzy, don't do it. So breathe in, opposite toes and look back. The people who have a high blood pressure might feel dizzy, so try not to do too much of that. Next, we're going to bend back and then come forward again. You go as far as you can. So you breathe in, look back, and back, and then come down, touching your toes if you can. Again, breathe in. And relax. Even that. Now we're going to do a star jump. <clears throat> so one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, and then smile. <laughs> Next, I'm going to do with that jump. <clears throat> one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm going to do 10 times fast jump. Anybody wants to do it? One, three, four, six, nine, and ten. You can do it longer. And then on to and the next, we're going to do tadasan. Tadasan is you interlock your finger, it goes on your head. And then you did raise your hand high up so as you can, and you tip off your toes, and then you breathe out. This is to maintain your height with the children. It will help to make it increase their height. And the other thing is that because you're stretching your abdominal muscles will help you with the digestive system and prevent constipation as well. Legs slightly apart. So all these three exercises we're doing is help you from digestive system and constipation that we've done with Saranji. And it's expand the lungs as well as because you're stretching your ribs. Uh, relax. The next hand in the front. Did you breathe in and look back? Breathe out, go other side. Next, put right, right hand on your left shoulder, the left hand behind, take it right back like this. And then look back, then you breathe out, and then swap over. You can feel all this bending and you know move your movement. <laughs> so it's you know you're removing your hips, you know, your, your abdomen and your hands. So everything, you know, is a full body workout. Next, the hand on your hips, and we do the jigada. <laughs> so make a big <laughs> twist with a smile. <laughs> now, <don't> do <laughs> we are doing so seriously. We need to have a good laugh, reverse. It's nice when we are all together in a one place, <coughs> live, and not on Zoom. All right, next we're going to do a twist. So hand goes opposite and your feet goes opposite and you breathe in and out. <coughs> Now 
and relax. And we can do so. <coughs> yeah, now we do the same thing. We do the of acupressure. Stimulate all your organs on your palms. I'm just going to sit down and do some hand exercise. Before we do hand exercise, just want to do Bastika for three minutes. So Bastika, we're going to sit in. Just sit in the Gai Mudra. There's a your index finger touching the thumb. And you're going to do with the Khichri Mudra. The Khichri Mudra, you do lift your tongue up and then roll it right at the back, touching the top of your roof. And that's again, stimulate your vagus nerves. And it, it's helped you to <coughs> also give you a longer breath as well. And you know, it um, activates your uh, parasympathetic system. So help you calm down and help you to concentrate and prepare for meditation. The same again, if you concentrate on your third eye, it's also for relaxation, removes, <coughs> um, it's a stress, also removes anxiety, stress, and calms you down and prepare you for meditation. So we do that basica for about <coughs> three minutes. So sitting again with the, sit straight, back straight. And then take a deep breath and you breathe in. Two and a half seconds to breathe in and two and a half seconds to breathe out. So lots of benefits during Pastica. First of all, you're giving up enough time in the lungs to take in oxygen because you're doing two and a half seconds to breathe in, two and a half seconds to breathe out. Or you can do it more slowly. So by taking in more oxygen, improves your brain functions, purifies the blood. So you get pure blood circulating around the body. Because it's increasing your lung capacity, it's giving you clean immunity as well. So that helps fight infection. Any infection, bacterial infection, viral infection, also help COVID infection as well, COVID-19. Help to regulate your body temperature. Also releases good hormones. And exercise your internal organs because you are concentrating on your breathing and you're controlling it. You do the cigar at any time. Put up your hands together. <coughs> do some hand exercise. So again, <coughs> sorry, before I do the, yeah, I do the hand exercise, then I do the leg exercise. So we do the <coughs> hand exercise. This is good for the arthritis and the gout. 
and also carpal um, tunnel syndromes. Then it's over with all these hand exercises, elbow exercise, we're doing it. It benefits our joints. And they say, you do more, we don't need to do it 10, 20 times, but you, you must do more if you got arthritis. More, more you do it, you're more able to relieve the pain and you improve your joint as well. And you're able to move your hands properly as well. And then put your thumb in. You can use, I have, a, well, I haven't got another ball, but I, you need two of these for soft ball. So you can, you can use these. It's very good. People who, and I've got <laughs> some other stronger ones that I have, but it's very hard. But, but people who got <laughs> strength, they can use this one as well, because that gives you more strength. So, but you can always start, if you've got time, always start with the soft balls like that. Right. So next we will do <coughs> fist together, then we turn. This is again good for the elbow, your wrist, and reverse. Whatever you can get to improve your arthritis is better. <coughs> then, <coughs> then we make. Make sure, you, I mean, <clears throat> put together, and then we're going to expand the lungs as well this same, same time. So you breathe in, then <clears throat> bring it forward. Hold it for a few seconds. <clears throat> breathe out. Again, breathe in. <clears throat> breathe out. And then. <clears throat> breathe out. <clears throat> Next, the hand. This is couple <coughs> tunnel syndrome and also good for the wrist. And next we're going to happy <coughs> at the back, give it a good <coughs> cut there, not like this. Go right the back. Okay. Uh, sideways, and that's good for them. <coughs> Then his elbow, and then also, and we're going to turn our hands. We go good for that, frozen shoulder. Your hands there, then we're going to bring it. So that's good for the frozen shoulder. We can take it right back. Yeah. We haven't done the other one, so we can do this one as well. In and out. And do that. Next, we interlock our hands there and bring it up. Just so put it back. And then stretch. Good for the spine as well. And next we will do interlock your finger and we put it at the back. So you press your head against your hand and breathe in. This is good for the neck pain, good for the spondylitis and also relax you. Help you to relax your and your migraine as well. We go in the front. When you have a headache, you can do this. You can breathe again. And the right side. Left. Yes. And then we do that shoulder and also massaging your knee when you get the warm, release the pain if you have a pain in your knee and reverse. 
and love yourself. <laughs> and then you the shoulder. <laughs> this also helps you <laughs> pump up your limb fluid. <laughs> and relax. <laughs> now you do leg exercise. So we take deep breath. Again, keep your eyes open because if you're doing moving around, you might feel dizzy. So we breathe in and we hop up and down. Again, three times. And up and down. Now we're going to go like a pendulum. So on the right. And center, left, center, right, center, left, center, right, center, left, center. Next, we're going to look at the back. So you breathe in, go on your right, look back as far as you can. Come back in the front, left, center, Right, center, left, center, right, center, left, center. Now we're going to rotate. People who can't rotate, you can just <clears throat> massage your chin against your chest. Just move it slowly. Now we're going to rotate. Clockwise, so down, right, sorry, no, left, up, right, down, left, up, right, down. Just make a circle, left, up, right, down. Now we're going to do other way. Down, right, up, left, down, right. Up, left, down. And just make a circle now. And, and relax. <coughs> We're just going to do now leg exercise <coughs> before we do back exercise. So <coughs> don't just move your <coughs> legs. Just uh, hold your calf muscles. Just loosen up a bit. And then we got open. Give it a good massage everywhere. Feel good. Your legs straight. We're just going to lift up our knee. It's a hand on your knee. Then you breathe in and then lift. Your knee up a little bit of the floor. You can feel the calf muscles straightening. And down again. Give you more strength on your legs and your knee. You do more often. Much more. <coughs> Relax. Now we're going to move our toes. So up and down as you breathe in and out. This is a good exercise for the gout, arthritis. Gout is caused by the building up of your uric acid in your kidney. When kidney can't get rid of it, it goes in your joints, causing a lot of pain, inflammation, and sometimes swelling as well. So we need to get rid of it so that this causes the gout. So this exercise will help you. And then if you've got a crumb, so you bring your toes forward and you raise your hands. So if you've got a very bad crumb, do this. Hold the breath and then bring it down and do a few times and for sure it will release the crown because it has done for me. Next, you bring your toes forward, breathe in, breathe out. Okay, and then just tap it a little bit and then we're going to. Put both together and we go to rotate. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ten. Reverse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Then we're going to <coughs> do right first. This is moving all lower part of your body, your hips, your knee, your, your thigh, your knee, your calf muscles, and your <coughs> both your feet. So that's good for you. And also it's a it's a help you to pump up your a, a limb fluid. So if you've got a lot of swelling, this will help you also reduce the swelling. Next, we're going to <coughs> bring the right leg on. If the people who can't bring it over the thigh, always put it at the side and do it this way. <clears throat> and people on a chair, be careful, don't fall over. So if you're just doing this, you know, put it over there, and then you breathe in, we do it three times. And then breathe out, press it down. Again, breathe in. Breathe it. Now. Again. Yeah. <clears throat> now we're going to rotate the ankle. Again, be careful, your arthritis do it slowly and gently. Just to help you to reduce the swelling as well. And the other way. And you're going to do all the <coughs> pressure points on your all your toes. The top of them is the sinuses. Right, and the right on the just over the top there. Sorry, is your brain. <coughs> so Give you, if you put a pressure point on this, you stimulate your brain, so give you a good memory <coughs> and all this. And then between your second toe and the third toe at the back is your eye. So if you've got an eye problem, it will help you to improve your eyesight. And then at the bottom for hearing, so if you put a pressure point on the last two toes, between the last two toes is your ears. You know? And you also got your on your toes, you've also got a thyroid point as well. So a pressure point everywhere. And then you got your lungs and your heart at the top part of your foot. Middle part is your digestive system, your lungs and your uh, sorry, your liver, pancreas, kidney, and all that, all of that. And then bottom is your intestine and all the lower part, your spine, <coughs> it's all lower part of your body and the side is the spine. <clears throat> Front is a liver point there between the toes. So all this you know, stimulating <clears throat> and give it a rub and <clears throat> stimulate it. And then hold like a baby and rock and give it a good last. Ha 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 Last, do the same thing here. Breathe in, breathe <coughs> out again. Last time, same again. Rotate the other way. Walk bare feet outside on the grass to stimulate again pressure point all over if you have pain any of those points then you'll have a <coughs> problem in one of your organs or on your stomach or your heart you have to go and seek the medical advice so if you've got a book Make sure that you do all the pressure points. Just follow the book. And then <clears throat> uh, go and see your doctor if you find that any pressure points are causing you a lot of pain. So we can do something about it early and it prevents further <coughs> if going worse. So the earlier you treat is better. And then again. Walk like your baby. Ha 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 ha
pumping up the lymph fluid again, as well as well, good for the sciatic pain. Good exercise overall. <laughs> Do some back exercise now because we did, didn't get time to do it yesterday. <coughs> and relax. <coughs> and, uh, put my, <coughs> let me do back, back exercise. <coughs> so when you're ready, go on our tummy. Hope you can see me all right. Let <coughs> just put this off a little bit. <coughs> Are you ready? You just put chin <clears throat> on your hands and then lift your breathe in and out, lift your one leg at a time. I'm going too fast. <clears throat> Sorry. You do it slowly. <clears throat> then you do it with it. Fourth leg. This is called Makarasa. Two. Three. Next, we're going to hold the ankles. People who can do it, do it. Otherwise, don't do it. So hold your ankles at the back. All right, hold together. Then you breathe in and you lift your chest up. Just hold it if you can or just breathe in and out. And come down. Again. One more time. And relax. Next we're going to do Ujasin. So hands up beside parallel to your shoulder. When you when you breathe and you lift up, yeah, your elbow should your hand should be stayed on the floor. So you just breathe in, you just lift your head in the chest and breathe out again. And down again. Now we're going to look at the back. So legs slightly apart, and you're going to look at the. You want to turn, when you go up, make sure your hand goes up this time. So you you want to rest your weight on your hand. Lift your elbow up. So you breathe in. You come up. Your hands are straight. Then you look right. Then try to look at the left knee. Heel if you can. Hold it for a second. Then you breathe out. You do the same again. Breathe in. Come up on your hand. Go on the left. Breathe out. Again. And in. Right. Back. Breathe out. Breathe in. Left. Breathe out. One more time. Breathe in. Go on your right. Breathe out. Again, up. Yeah. And come down. So you're going to do for your pujasana. So put both uh, hands together. When you breathe in and you come up, make sure your hands are straight and you look up. And come down. Again. Down. And down. Next, we're going to do salavasana. So put your hands, make a in your fist, put under your thigh. Then you breathe in, you bring the right leg up, hold it, breathe out. Left leg, breathe in, left leg. Do five times. Right. In, left. Right. Right. Last time. Right. 
Like, the both legs together is hold it for a few seconds and relax. Now put the right hand in the front, left hand over your back. As you breathe in, bring the right hand up and the left leg and hold it for a few seconds. Sister Lavasan too, with the Superman pose again. Last time. Uh, swap the hand, right hand at the back, left hand at the back. You breathe in, left hand up, right leg up. Down again. Again. This time, both hands at the back, both legs together. You breathe in, then you come up, hold it. Yeah. One more time. And do that. Put both hands together. Put the head over it, on it. And just rest for a few seconds. Before we come around. Now, when you're ready, before we come around, just go on your knees and we do cow, cat and cow pose. So hands apart. Then you breathe in, tuck your tummy in, start to become cat. Then you breathe out and your head up, looking straight, the bone sticking out, that's a cow. Breathe in again, cat. Breathe out. Breathe out, so it up and it's cut. Again, breathe in. Tummy in. Turn it down, head up, straight. And do that. <coughs> now you're going to do it. <coughs> Go on our back. We can do Makkakasan. So hand parallel to so you, shoulder, bend both knees. You breathe in. Take the both legs on your right and the head on the left. You do three times. Then bring it to center, breathe out. On the left, you do more often when you at home. It's good for the back pain. Good for the hips and the side hip pain as well. Center, left, center, right, center, left, center. Legs slightly apart. And then breathe in, take the head on the right and you're touching the left knee to your right heel and center. So it and the opposite, sorry, opposite, head opposite, center. You go on your right, head on the left, center, left, center, right, head on the left. Center and then left and center. Now put the leg straight and you breathe in, let the right leg up, and then you go on the left side, try to touch if you can, and you breathe out slowly and bring it back in the front. Then do the left leg up, take it to your right side. Go as far as you can, you don't have to touch it. Head on the left, breathe out, back. One more time, right leg up, go on the left, head on the right, breathe out, bring it back to center. Left leg up, go on your right, head on the left, bring it back to the center. Straight. What are you going to do? 
no kasan. So hand in the front, in the thigh. You breathe in, you come up, and you give both legs together. So breathe in, and bring it as far as you can, like a boat, and breathe out. Again. Breathe out. One more time. And breathe out. Next is a Pawan Mukasan. So bring the right leg, bend the right leg, interlock your finger, put it over your knee, and then be careful if you go spondylitis or you've got neck pain, don't come forward, just stay on the floor. So you breathe in, then try to touch your knee. <laughs> breathe out. Do the left, <coughs> right, <coughs> left, Right, left, right, left. Now, this time, bend your both legs and then hold it together. <coughs> and then you come up, see if you can touch it. Otherwise, <coughs> stay on your floor. And now rock backward and forward to massage your back. It also helps to get rid of the gas in your stomach. So this is good for the digestive system as well. If you can't do this, go side to side. And relax. Next, I'm going to show you, it's good for the varicose vein and also for the blood pressure. So if you go up, lie down, bring your both legs together to 30 degree. Slowly, then come up to 60, and slowly come up to 90 degrees straight. Then slowly, hold it for a few seconds, slowly come down to 60, and then 30, then relax. So that's Savak Savan Asan. So I'm going to do Halasan, where you roll back. People who can do it, it's also good for the varicose pain, the back pain. So what you do, you come up, bring your legs up, and then forcefully to bring it up, hold it there. So that's good for the varicose pain, blood pressure, high blood pressure, and then slowly go back. Go right under the back as far as you can. If you can't, you can always. Put your hand on it and then put your hands at the back there. So that's a top one. Then come back slowly and get up. And you can cycle it. More exercise. And then you bend your knees and come down slowly. And again, if you want high blood pressure, you can put it against the chair or you can go against the wall like this. And then you turn around and then you bring it, your leg up like this and you stay like this. And that will help you to lower your blood pressure as well. It's very good. Sometimes I do it and I fall asleep there. So <laughs> don't want to fall asleep now. All right, so we do some <coughs> leg exercise. So bring some. Put your hand underneath your back and you breathe in out. Bring the right leg up, breathe in and out. Support your back, so be careful you don't hurt yourself. The right leg up and rotate clockwise. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse. 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. The side lean, so bend your knees and lift up the cycle. Reverse. And okay. relax. <laughs> Just legs apart. Let this sarasan for, for a couple of minutes. And beside your hips. Relax your body completely. Just take a deep breath in and out. Just feel all the energy that you gather from top to bottom. We're just going to lie there for one minute. Just feel yourself, the toes, the ankle, <laughs> your legs, go part of your legs, your knees, your thigh. And your wrist, the hands, your fingers, your stomach, all middle part of your body and your hands, your heart in your lungs, your chest, your thyroid, you want the top on your face, your mouth, your nose, your eyes, your third eye, eyebrows, your forehead, and shift the head. So all this exercise, it will serve us as the end of physical exercise. Or whenever you had a hard day, just relax. Rub your hands together. And then look on your eyes. Go on your side, left side, bend your knees. And with the help of your hand, stand up. <coughs> And just relax. Just going to do a few mudras. Uh, deep breath whenever you're ready. I'm going to do Kapal Bhati. So, Kapal Bhati, please, anybody, many women who are pregnant, I'm going to the monthly cycle, please don't do Kapal Bhati. Uh, Kapal Bhati is a forceful breathing out and feeling the your lungs at the same time. So it's one stop, one, one second, one stop. So you're doing 60 per, so, um, one minute. So people who had a surgery within six months, please do not do it. Got a heart problem or high blood pressure, either you don't do it or do it slowly and uh, do Bastika. So whatever illness you have and you can't do Kaparvati, please do not do it. Just stay safe. So do whatever you can. <coughs> Kapa means forehead, and Bhati means blow. It is it's um, strengthen your lungs, exercise your internal organs at the same time, just help to reduce that fat and you increase your lung capacity as well. So first of all, we will straighten our back. So interlock your finger, you go up, make your hands straight, you do kapal bhati. Next, as we haven't got time, so we just do the few of them. We do some more next time. This is called Sahaj Sang Mudra. So interlock your finger, thumb in, in, in the middle. And this also helps to um, um, straighten your spine and also uh, give you flexibility. And also if you had a slip this, you do this more often.
and relax. <coughs> Next, I want to do some mudra because the mudra, this is good for the back as well as your thyroid. So hand there and then fold the fingers and then bring all the fingers on the top and then you touch your index finger and your thumb. And this is good for the thyroid. So I put it there or then put it here, which wherever. If you've got a thyroid problem, you do it there. And relax. And we do the other one, <coughs> same. And I'm going to put it that one in the lower part. So that's for the spine. And relax. Next, we do Udan Mudra. So Udan Mudra is <coughs> all your fingers touching the, except the little finger touching the thumb. And we put it on either side and we're going to twist to give you more benefit of the internal organs. So it's exercise it. And um, Udan Mudra is good for your thyroid as well as your stamina. If you've got a speech problem, this is good for, for it as well. And also increase your voice. <coughs> well, make it sweeter. And relax. We do it short period, but you must do it longer. If you've got any problems related to this mudra, you must do it longer. Next is a Vayu mudra. This is for the gout and for arthritis. And also for your, um, yeah, if you've got a gas problem, so that relieves that as well. So it's good for the intestine and uh, your abdominal digestive system. Relax. Next is a prana mudra. So little finger and you index finger together. Prana mudra. This is good for the <coughs> prana. It's the energy. <coughs> it's the most powerful mudra. Gives you good immunity as well as you, um, good for your eyesight as well. And when you do the eye exercise, do this mudra. And relax. That is a apna mudra. So that removes the toxin from your liver, from your kidney, from your lungs. So you again you twist. And relax. <coughs> we do grinding and then I finish off the book walks <coughs> with Mandugasa. <coughs> so again, first of all, <coughs> we're going to do it with the, in, uh, with the link mudra that helps to reduce the fat. So <coughs> you breathe in as you go back and you breathe out as you go forward and make sure your hands are straight. So we do 10 times. <coughs> so <coughs> breathe in, <coughs> breathe out. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Reverse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, and one. And last, legs apart. <coughs> We're going to touch the opposite toes. So again, breathe in, the opposite toes, and look back. <coughs> look up. Last time, and relax. Next, do grinding 20 times. <coughs> Back straight. And relax. Take a deep breath. If you're out of breath, and we do Surya Mudra. Surya Mudra is your index fin uh, ring finger. This is good for the lowering your cholesterol level, good for the diabetic people, and also help so liver related problem, and also helps you uh, uh, um, register fat as well as a threat weight loss. Sorry. So on, on your knee and do Kapal Bhakti. And relax. So you do more in your own time. Next, we're going to do a Vayu Mudra. So that's for the people who got a high blood pressure, heart problem, and also good for climbing up the stairs. So your index finger and then the other two finger is touching the your uh, thumb, and you put it there and do Kapal Bhati. We do <coughs> next we will do Borun Mudra. That's is for the allergy and also good for the skin. Next we will do for the lower blood pressure. So Linga Mudra. Just for a few seconds. It's also good for the people who go asthma, so it strengthen your lungs as well. Weight loss. Well, you concentrate whichever problem you have. So if I've got lower blood pressure, I concentrate onto my lower blood pressure. And relax. <coughs> We're going to do Mundukasan. So you sit in a Vajasan, whichever, or you can just sit <coughs> whichever uh, you're comfortable with. You can always put a support there if you want to. And then you're going to make a fist. This is a good for the diabetic people, but it's also for prevention. So it's also for good for the digestion as well. So it's not only for the diabetic people, it's for everybody. So we do everything for prevention. And that if you if you are diabetic, you are insulin, you must do this uh, before your meal three times a day, and you do this five times. So <clears throat> make a fist, take a deep breath, and then you put your, your fist between your navel. So take, take a deep breath, breathe out, breathe there, press it in, come down slowly, and then you look up and do Kapal Bhati for 10 times. And then you breathe in and out and come up slowly. Do it one more time. And 
Look up. Breathe in and out, come up. Then you're going to put it over your liver and over your spleen. Breathe in, breathe out, come down, and you come up. Come up again. And this time, you can just put it on your hand, people who can't bend down. So you just breathe in. Breathe out and just do. And relax. Next, you're going to massage it. So left hand over your liver and your pancreas, right hand over it. So you breathe in, breathe out, come down. Do a couple of you or just massage it. And then you look up. Two seconds. You breathe in and out, and you come up. Do it longer than your own time. Do one more time. You come up slowly. Right hand over you. Le sorry, left hand over your uh, spleen, and the right hand over it. And you breathe in. Come down. And look up. Next, we're going to do child pose. Hand on your knee, you breathe in, you come up, bend backward, then you breathe out, come in the front, looking at your heels, I mean, knees. And you look up about you if you wish. So you breathe in and out, come up again. Come down and relax. Come back. Just take a deep breath. Next, we're going to do ujjayi. Uh, ujjayi is ujjayi is help to clean your block arteries, also regulate your cholesterol levels, help you with the migraine. If you got migraine, you do this, and also prevent thyroid problems and improves your thyroid level as well. And your voice becomes sweet and it clean, cleans the flame. So we just give it a little bit of a cough first. <coughs> Clear your throat. And then you make a short breath three times and the longer one, then you massage your throat and then you come up, press the right nostril and breathe through the left nostril. So we do that. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah. And close your right nostril. And breathe out. <coughs> Again, one more time. <coughs> Come down. Relax. <coughs> We're going to do for a couple of minutes. I'll long be long. So either you have a Surya Vari Mudra or you can just do Gain Mudra or left, left one on your knee, the right hand. And the same one, you close the right nostril and then breathe from your left nostril. Then you close your left nostril and breathe out from your right nostril. And then again, you breathe same from the right nostril and then you breathe out left. So we do alternate breathing, giving more lung, <coughs> giving time more time to the lungs to take the oxygen in and uh, get rid of the carbon dioxide. So back straight and we can start. So breathe in. Breathe out. This helps to clear your block arteries. Improves your blood <coughs> circulation, pure oxygen. Pure blood. Increase the lung capacity. Increase your immunity. 
more oxygen you take in, more new cells you produce, fight infection, fight your disease. You're only doing for a couple of minutes, but you must do it five minutes more. Do it in a fresh air. So you get pure oxygen. You're going to breathe through the right nostril and breathe out from the left and relax. <coughs> Do the Brahmi. So close your ears, three fingers over your eyes and your index fingers over your forehead. <clears throat> Take a deep breath and hop, bumblebee sound three times. <clears throat> mm. Mm. Keep your eye closed. Sit in again with the breath. And we turn on three times. <coughs> oh. oh. Uh, oh. Silent breathing for a few seconds. Concentrating the third eye. Do it quietly. Rub your hands together, keep your eye closed, cup it, put it over your eyes, slowly open your eyes, and rub it over. And we do the pray, so we are not near me again to do the pray. Unmute mm. uh, yourself. Can you unmute yourself? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> and then we do Sin Hassan. Okay. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina Sarve Santu Niramya Sarve Badrani Prashantu Makasti Dukha Bhag Bhavet Om Shanti 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 May all be happy May all be healthy. May all enjoy prosperity. May none suffer. Oh, I do sin Hassan. Sin Hassan also good for your throat, for your thyroids, for your eyes. So we sit in whichever also you want. Take a deep breath. And then. Ah. Ah. Oh, like a lion. Ah. Massage it and then all unmute and we give it a good laugh. <clears throat>
Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank 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 you. Very nice teacher. Very good teacher. Very nice yoga teacher. Yeah, she's good. And the prayer also very good. Thank you, Very nice prayer also. Very nice prayer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.